Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Merlin the Dragon Alchemist and I'm going to introduce myself on here since this is basically my first YouTube video. So I work with dragons and I also make healing art called Organite. I use crystals and metals and together it creates a healing energy effect. And that actually protects and filters against harmful EMF radiation like the one being released on your phone right now. I will definitely be making a video about the process of making it and all about Organite later on, but right now that's just the basics. I also offer dragon connection readings, so if you're curious if a dragon is reaching out to you, I specialize in connecting with them and giving you messages about them, what type they are, what elements they bring, and how they can help you. If you're interested in both Organite and Dragon readings, I actually have an offer on Patreon where every month you get a free customizable option of Organite and you get a monthly reading from the dragons. So my plans for this account is to create Dragon and Organite related content because there's so much information out there I'd love to share with you guys and there's not really that many YouTube videos about Organite or Dragons. So if you guys have any video ideas, I'd love to hear them down in the comments and maybe I can get to them one day. My next video I'm planning on doing about dragon signs because they send you a lot of signs when they're reaching out to you. So now I'm going to share my story of how I discovered my connection with the dragon. A lot of the time dragons are connected to people throughout their lifetimes. So as a child, if you were drawn to dragons, chances is that you are very in touch with your intuition as a child and really do have dragons around you. Obviously, I was obsessed with dragons as a child. In my heart, I always knew they were real. I had so many dragon toys, and my absolute favorite movie was Dragonheart. If you haven't seen that movie, you are missing out because it holds lots of dragon wisdom that I still keep with me to this day because it's led me to this path. Maybe I'll do a YouTube video where we rate the dragon movies with the dragons and see what they think about the movies. But to continue the story, as I was a kid, as time went on, I slowly stopped being in touch with magic as I'm sure lots of kids do because the world tells us that magic isn't real, dragons aren't real, so that starts to become your reality and it's very bleak and depressing, I'm not gonna lie. Luckily when I was 13 I started to get in touch with it again and I found a spirit animal deck. I'll actually grab it right now. Okay so this is my first deck, it's called Animal Spirit and they are my favorite creators ever. They have released like four other decks and I have almost all of them great artist, but honestly, the reason why I got this deck when I was 13 is because of this card. This card right here. I'm not gonna lie, I got this deck because I thought it could confirm that my spirit animal was a dragon, which was so so wrong because spirit animal is actually a term of Native Americans. It's cultural appropriation to use it if you're a white person or not of that culture, so I'm glad I know now that I cannot use that term. It is spirit animal is a term that I can use, but yes, dragons can be a spirit animal guide, but it's much more than just a spirit animal guide, if that makes sense. So it did kind of confirm to me that dragons are real because they showed me this card a lot. After connecting with that deck for a while, I started to get more intrigued by magic and all the things in the world. So I started to collect crystals, I started hunting for crystals, I started researching dragons and the mythologies and all that fun stuff. It's honestly so nice to rediscover magic, and the dragons really help with that. So that curiosity kept me going until I was 16, and I finally wanted to like actually learn more and fully dedicate myself to it because it was just too interesting. That's when I discovered dragon magic is actually a thing, and I'm not just out here doing things the way I do them. It's an actual practice that I have no idea about. I then learned how much respect dragons require, so I started to like really check myself and check my morals and really try to show that I am respectful and I'm just honoring them because I know I have to show my worth in order for a guardian or a guide to come to me. But deep down I knew something was missing and I still waited for a dragon guardian or guide to come. Eventually I kind of crafted a ritual where I got in the bath, set up all the crystals, set up like this candle. I like made it all special, and then I started to meditate, and I saw a giant black dragon appear to me. This was the first time I've seen anything in my meditation, so I was very surprised. I could see his eyes glowing, I could see smoke come out of his nose, and I knew my life would be changed from that moment on. Now, normally people connect with their dragon guide or guardian through the Ritual of Flames, but there's nothing wrong with creating your own version of that because that's what worked for me. 
Now over time, lots more dragons started to come and connect with me and my team just got bigger. I have connected with countless dragons since and it's the biggest blessing of my entire life. Connecting with and seeing the dragons got easier over time because they were helping me upgrade my psychic abilities and my clair senses. So that's pretty awesome because before that, everything was black. The world was dull. And now I can see messages in everything and anything. I have connected with countless dragons since and it's the biggest blessing of my entire life. So eventually when I turned 20, the dragons offered me to help teach me how to become a dragon high priestess. So I took the offer and I trained with them for a good year. I asked if I could share anything about my high priestess training and dragons are very secretive. They want me to keep it to myself for at least now. I don't know about in the future, but it was very intense and very demanding and isn't for everyone and that's okay. It took a full year of training to finally get initiated as a Dragon High Priestess, so I turned 21 a few months ago and I am officially a Dragon High Priestess now. So if you have any questions or if you need assistance, I'm always here to help. Every Dragon Path is different, honestly, and the way I'd classify my path would be Cosmic Dragon Alchemy because I'm more focused on the alchemical side of the dragons. I've been working with the planetary dragons and cosmic dragons as well, and they are teaching me a lot about the Dragon Alchemy Path. You could also classify my path as Draconic or Draconian. To explain those briefly, Draconic means working with dragons, and Draconian means the path of becoming a dragon, which is a lot more different than each other, but they are very connected. I never knew this, but apparently Draconian alchemy is a thing, and I have already knew about it from the dragons, so learning about that, that it's real, and I've learned it from the dragons, is just like mind-blowing to me. But there's not much information about draconian alchemy, so I just call it dragon alchemy, just to make it easy. But yeah, that's basically my story and introduction. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content, I post on Instagram and TikTok, so go check those out. I cannot wait to make more videos on here though, so if you have any more ideas, please let me know in the comments, and maybe I can get to them one day.